Hey everyone, this video is about taking your mantras whoop, whoop, to the next level. Okay, so I want to give you some before and afters. Um, yeah, so a before is I am capable of doing hard things. And maybe instead of that saying life is easy and joyful. You know, in the past, I used to have a achievement mentality and the idea that everything had to be hard. And the fact is life doesn't have to be hard. And focusing not on doing something that's hard, but focusing on being a person who everything is easy for, um, I was just talking about this with a friend, actually, <laughs> you know, we're so used to that achievement mind that we think that life has to be hard and that we just want to go back and do all the hard things. But, um, what if life didn't have to be hard? What if it was easy and joyful And that state? Not that I not that I, I got this, I'm going to take on the world state, but rather the state life is easy and joyful to me is more conducive of that parasympathetic recovery response, that resting and digesting, that it's all good versus that fight mentality that we don't necessarily want because when the body is in that fight or flight mode, it's not doing its thing. Okay. Another one before is I am safe. <laughs> Sit, and that's a good thing. But when when you think of the word safe, it always implies like there's something to be safe from. Maybe you're safe from a fire or safe from something bad. Are you ever safe from something good? No. So what if instead of saying I am safe, we say I thrive everywhere. <laughs> you just feel that I am thriving or I can thrive anywhere. That feeling of thriving versus that feeling of like, okay, I'm safe. <laughs> just taking it to the next level. And I didn't do the lightning process, but the founder, Dr. Phil Parker, he, he mentioned this on his Instagram a while ago. Um, about hidden negative words. And another hidden negative word he mentioned was, um, I am brave. And I do see that one come up often. But for me, I say, I am resilient and can easily handle anything. So it's not about being that fighter. Though if being a fighter makes you feel stronger and empowered, do your thing do what resonates with you. For me, that fight mentality didn't resonate. I did a video before about this. For me, it was about, you know, being in harmony. <laughs> and yeah, so that brings me to another one. I don't react to things. So if you have some environmental triggers, etc, etc, you may want to you may say, say, I don't react to things. But what if you took it to the next level and said, I am in harmony with the good vibrations of the universe. Yeah, so I say that, that a lot. And I say a perfect state of, of health and calmness is within me and I can always come back to it. So it's not about like, I don't react. It's not saying what I don't want. It's saying what I am, the state that I want my body to be in. Um, and if you, for me, I, I did the program DNRS and mantras as a part of it. Um, the dynamic neural retraining system. And for me, it was helpful that before I started the program, I was really into the laws of attraction books by Abraham Hicks and they have wonderful cute well-being cards just self-care reminders and 
It's all about not saying what you don't want. It's about letting go of resistance and, you know, focusing on what you do want and feeling good and joy and love. It's, 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 I really recommend the Abraham Hicks series. You know, it may be a little woo woo, but I can scientifically state it was, <laughs> from my own observations, it helped me. <laughs> All right, another one. I, oh, close. Another one. So I used to write a lot, um, I am loved, and that can apply, and I would say I am loved by maybe certain friends and family. And it was kind of to reassure myself that, you know what, other people do love me, so I don't really need to be loved by everyone because people do love me. People do love me. And, I then changed it to um, my was inspired by my DNRS buddy, a guy I do buddy rounds with for each do your rounds. And so he says, I love everything about myself. And if you are spiritual, you can um, or um, yeah, you can add like God, Jesus, the universe knows me and adores me. It's the idea that instead of saying I am loved by others, it's, it's all about that self-love and, you know, the connecting to the higher power, whatever that is for you. And that to me was more empowering than reassuring myself that other people love me. Even though it's good to have, like I have reminders of my grandpa all over the house. <laughs> who loved me very much. So it's a good thing, but I'm just saying like to up level your mantras. It's not saying something is right or wrong. And I just hope that um, you see that um, m maybe to, cons to reconsider m mantras that are about, that implied challenges, uh, overcoming challenges, and are about external validation, but rather focus on your, um, your inner strength being the person who can do anything and the self-love and your inner vitality yeah so i hope that that resonated with you yeah <laughs>